What's up, beautiful people? It is your homegirl, Miss Shameless, all up in your building, and I am giving you another tech talk. And this time, we are talking about blurry backgrounds. How do they do that? How do they get their backgrounds all blurry? So it really boils down to two things, f-stop and the length, the focal length. So the first one, which is the most important one for you guys, is the aperture. So f-stop is the aperture, and it's the opening that allows the light to enter the lens. So the lower the f-stop number, the wider the opening, the more light and the more blur. So right now we're filming on a lens that is at 2.8. So you're getting this. A standard kind of suggested lens I recommend is a 51.8. And those are affordable and they blur out the background. And you can use that on every camera. So they can get really expensive too though. The minute you start going lower than 1.8, if you go 1.4, 1.2, then all of a sudden you're a baller and you got lots of money and everyone wants to be your friend or at least get their photo taken by you. Part two is focal length. So the longer the focal length combined with the f-stop will give you even more blur. We'll start with the 50. Let's start with 50. So 50 millimeters is the closest to a human eye and that's kind of like a nice standard portrait length. You can get longer, 85, this is 200, and that will give you even more blur. So what you're seeing now will be even blurrier and I'll look like 3D reaching out for you. But if you're on a budget, if you're just starting out, I highly recommend 51.8. This is for the Sony Alpha uh, 6000. Then you have the, your Canons, your, what are they, power sheets? So start small, start affordable. But if you're gonna buy a lens that isn't a kit lens, I recommend a 51.8. You will thank me later. Haha, <laughs> mumbo jumbo lenses. Let's get down to the blur, okay? So this is 2.8. So 2.8 and this is the blur on this lens. 24 to 70 is the lens that we're shooting on. So if you can uh, crank it down, which means we're gonna get less light and less blur. Darker less blur, not as interesting. I look like I filmed on a kit lens, which is what a typical, if you're buying um, a interchangeable lens camera, they'll come with a standard kit lens and it will be kind of giving you this one dimensional look. And that is it. That is how you get a blurry background. I hope you guys found that informative. I hope it wasn't overwhelming if it was rewind, watch it again, okay? <laughs> um, comment below, let me know what do you take your photos on? Your camera, your iPhone, if it's a camera, let me know the model, I would love to know the name. <laughs> That's it from me, remember to do you, be you, and stay true boo. Be shameless, take photos. <laughs>